Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that card guy, back to another card show haul. These are all bargain box cards that I got. I will start out with the diamond cards first, but we're going to start with the more expensive ones. Well, I say expensive, but we're starting with the $3 cards. Now, these were all bought just today out of the La Quinta card show in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks, big shout out to Matt and Jay for always hooking me up with some good deals. So, uh, I bought a few of the $3 cards here. We'll go ahead and start with these first. Like I said, I normally do the diamond cards. We've got a bunch of cards over there to uh -huh. go over as well. Those are the cheaper ones, but let's start with some of these three dollar ones first first we got up Lionel Messi this is one of the stickers right there from the Qatar 2022 I looked on ComC these are selling for over ten dollars on there I think it might have even been like 17 bucks or something like that so if I can get ten dollars plus on a three dollar card that's great this one's from my own collection Josh Allen my house optic hollow or prism i guess it is maybe they only made it one way I actually looked on comc as a, as my comp and there were none available for sale on there right now so that's a great looking card for just three dollars from my buffalo bills collection go bills uh, we're, we're getting a little bit of everything here we got star wars luke skywalker this is the purple variation from tops trying to get it without the glare i got me and the fan going in the background so if i hold them right here we get it just right this one's actually serial number out of just 99 copies 95 and 99 so i thought that one was pretty cool definitely worth three dollars i think there's two of these in here let me see if i can find the other one right here we got two of these nolan arenado finest rookie cards i think these sell for five to i don't know eight dollars somewhere in that range definitely think he's going to be a hall of famer so whenever i can pick these up at below going price i'll go ahead and do that again i paid three dollars each for the two of those plus i get top loaders with all these so that's that's a little bit of a plus all right these were in the $3 box as well. I'll have to get these authenticated, but I've been buying a bunch of in-person autographs from this same dealer, and they've all passed so far. So these are all Pete Alonzo. They say Peter on that one and Pete on here. So as you can see, these are all autographs. I can try to get it without the glare, without me in the background. So we have a just regular Bowman paper one right there, signed in black Sharpie. And these two, let's see, actually there's a Bowman, and then there's a Chrome. Now the Chrome is slightly smeared, but... I'm going to pay to get these authenticated. These are rookie cards, so uh, I will, you'll probably see these in a future video after I get them authenticated, just showing you that they did get done. But I did pay $3 each for those as well. Great receiver right here, Dion Branch. One of Tom Brady's favorite targets back in the day. This is 2002 Bowman's Best autograph, on-card autograph as well. I don't think this one's serial number. They did, they did make a serial numbered version of these and actually have a different player you'll see later on, but... Uh, for three bucks, I gotta imagine that's more. I'll throw comps up maybe on a few of the cards you'll see on the screen. Maybe I'll throw them up here somewhere else, but I think that's a great card for three bucks. A couple of these I did look up. I did look up this card first, this Z Force Total Impact insert of Allen Iverson. Great looking card. There's the back of it there. Let's see, is it rookie year? It's either rookie or second year card. I'm gonna say it's rookie year, but you guys can correct me. Uh, but yeah, great looking card there. Again, I think this was a $10 plus uh, COMC current price. Same with this one here. David Robinson, New Heights. Got a little four photo thing here from Flair. One of these great Flair inserts from back in the mid 90s. Right there again, I think this was going for $10 plus. Uh, this one here I didn't look up, but it was a Mike Trout and its serial number. So it says uh, all of the captain. So it's got some Derek Jeter insert set so i don't know if they had him pick this top favorite players from the game or whatever but you can see it is numbered out of just 125 out there so any mike trout card numbered in that 100 range i'll pick that up for three dollars all day as well as this one here I, i'm not a big fan of these project 2020 cards i know it's either a love hate thing but look he's got laser beams coming out of his eyes mike trout laser beam card for three bucks i don't know it's probably something i'll sell in my collectibles booth for i'll throw in there for at least like 10 bucks Someone will buy it there. I think that's kind of neat. So that, that was it. I think there was like 12 of the $3 cards. Uh, I did buy two more expensive cards. These were Mark 15 each. I got them for 10. I'm a, obviously a Bills fan. It's saying there. So I actually didn't have these two. I don't actually have a lot of Josh Allen rookie cards. I have a couple. But pick these up for $10 each. So we got his base classics rookie showing him in his Wyoming uniform. And then this one here is also in Wyoming. But this is the draft. And this is the yellow version parallel not serial number but pick those both up for ten dollars each football season's coming up and i'm getting excited for it so i added a couple more josh allens to my collection all right now we'll go over here these were 
dollar cards. Now, I say they're dollar cards. Now, in his box, they're $2, but I get the friends and family discount. I've been buying from the same person for probably a couple decades now, so I get a little bit better pricing. Let's check out what I got here. First up, we got Albert Pujols. This is a second year card, Bowman Chrome. Uh, I don't really know what these are going for, but I guess got to guess it's going for at least $5 for a second year Chrome Pujols card. Nice one there. This one I bought just being local guy. Andrew Walter from Arizona State. This is something I'll sell in my collectibles booth for five bucks. There'll be an ASU fan that'll come in to buy this. I think I have another ASU guy here coming up as well. This one is serial numbered out of uh, 400. It's the silver version, so it's a little more rare, I guess. Ken Griffey Jr. Stat Stars. This is the Topps Chrome version of that insert. Another one here, Griffey. This one's Power Players. I think these are both from the same year. Great looking insert card. Just a dollar on that. I don't know if I'll keep that for me or if I'll throw that in my uh, one of my card selling places for you know three to five dollars somewhere in there. Oh, here it is. It's also Andrew Walter, originally five dollar price tag, but again he's in his ASU uniform on there. If it was in his Raiders uniform, I wouldn't have bought it. But being that he is in his ASU uniform, somebody here locally, some ASU football fan will definitely pick that one up as well. All right, Diamondbacks, another local guy, Jake McCarthy, playing fairly well right now. Diamondbacks are hanging on behind the Dodgers just a few games back, numbered out of $4.99, blue card, so that'll be a few dollars. I'll have to check to see if I have this one in my Kurt Warner collection. I do collect Kurt. Uh, originally had a $5 price tag. Somebody did anyway. So this is a Leaf Certified Red, numbered out of right there. Let's see if I can find it. 100 yep, numbered out of 100 I'll see if I have that in my collection. If not, then it will go up for sale. Mike Trout, Topps Heritage. This is the Rookie Cup, so I, I'm guessing this is like a second-year card. This is from 2013, so a couple years into it, I guess, but Rookie Cup card for a dollar. Oh, we did have a third one, third ASU guy, Rudy Carpenter. Yep, going on the ASU quarterbacks with, with this one. This one is not serial numbered, but it is autographed right there, so again, this will be easily a few dollars here. Like I said, some ASU collector will pick that up. We're sticking with all the Phoenix guys. Steve Nash, rookie card. But this is his finest rookie card, so this is easily a $5 card here locally. Pick that one up for a dollar. Keep going. We got Buster Posey. Posey rookie card, upper deck. His upper deck is less expensive than some of the other brands. I don't know if they produced more, or maybe just the upper deck isn't in as much of a demand, but I think it's like a 3 to $5 card. Future Hall of Famer, Tom Brady. We got this one here. This is a Topps Chrome. I always pick up his Chrome cards, just like I do with a Griffey and the other guys. This one is 2015. Try to get me off the uh, image there with all the glare. But yeah, I think that's a great looking card for a dollar. Another autograph card, another local guy sticking to somebody. We got John Brown. Yeah, he was good here for a couple of years. I think he went to a couple other teams and had some moderate success. But just an autograph rookie guy of a local guy. I can put him in one of my cases for five bucks. Christian Watson. This one's the orange, I don't know, we'll just call it the orange version of uh, Mosaic. Don't know what they call all their parallels. Probably just orange, but rookie card for a buck. Probably worth a few bucks. Larry, Larry I almost said Larry Brown. We got Larry Bird Fleer sticker. I think this is like a 87 Fleer sticker. Always need some of those to complete some sets. Michael Jordan, Silver Crash the Game, sell anything Jordan. He sells, doesn't matter where I, where I put him, whether it's my collectibles booth, Card show, com C, doesn't matter. They all sell. Pick that one up for a dollar from the silver set. Great looking card here. It's still in like a team bag. We'll pull it out real quick. Yeah, look at that one. That is a fantastic looking insert card. I don't know what it books at, but I wouldn't sell this thing for less than five dollars just for just for how it looks. Upper deck Ionix, awesome powers. So must must have did this one when the Aust Austin Powers movie came out. So that's pretty cool. All right, here's what I said. I got another one of these Bowman's Best Autograph pull out of the sleeve. I should have done that ahead of time. Now, this is Leonard Henry. I realize he's not highly in demand, but if you can tell, this is the gold parallel. And the gold parallels were numbered out of just 99, which were near impossible to get back in 2002. So this is definitely like a COMC type card. Hopefully, there's no inventory on there, and I can s send this in and get, you know, five, seven, eight dollars there. And this isn't a big old uh, one touch here, so one touch is sell for, you know, buck, buck and half a piece. Buster Posey numbered out of just 50, so a really nice looking card there. That's scratch on the little sleeve there, so picked it up. That's the last of the dollar cards. Let me shovel in the next batch and we'll get going. All right, next stack of cards. We got 50 centers, which means for the rest of the public, they were a dollar each. Again, friends and family discount. I got these at 50 cents each. Definitely makes it a, a lot more uh, worth it for me to grab these cards that I can sell for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars here locally uh, 
and all my different sources. So uh, let's just get going. We got vintage George Brett 1980 tops, a uh, holographic. This is the awesome or gold version for Barry Bonds. Shoei Otani. I'll pick up just about any Shoei Otani insert for 50 cents. I can throw it out there for two bucks and it'll sell. Then if you notice, Robin Yount, but this is boom, OPG. He actually has some 78 OPGs in there, so that was very different. It's like a, what, a fourth year card for Robin Yount, so that's pretty cool. Some more vintage from my booth. We've got Jim Cott, 70, Veda Pinson, Denny McLean. Nice Nolan Ryan, 82 tops. We got some of these. I always pick these things up, these little tribute cards, Mooley Mays. Another Nolan Ryan, 83 Donruss. Tops Chrome Hit Parade Sammy, number 51. Another one of these Hank Aaron tributes. Some more vintage. Uh, it's just a random uh, rookie card, but it does have Tito Fuentes, even though it does have like a little crease right there, but I can still get a couple dollars for that. Hank Aaron. This is like what, the tribute, but that's like the chrome version. It says down at the bottom how they number those. You can barely see the numbering. It's super tiny. Another Hank Aaron. Another one of these OPGs. Gary Carter. Another great looking card. You don't see the OPGs too often, so I'll price that a little bit higher than some of the others. A couple more Hank Aaron tributes. Another Hank Aaron. The Golden Greats from Topps Chrome. Randy Johnson Refractor. Ken Griffey Jr. Chrome. A couple different ones there from 2000. I think they made like five different versions of this one here. I've been working on this set, so anytime I find these cards, I just go ahead and pick them up, even though the, these are a little bit off center. You can see Dion's got a fair amount of off centering, but we got Molitors, Dion, and Albert Bell, so I'll see if I need any of those for my set. If not, I will resell them. Uh, this is just another one of these tributes. Nolan Ryan, that's a rookie year one. I actually don't think I have that one. Uh, another one there, the 81. This is an insert, Cal Ripken, number two, uh, 1985. Nolan Ryan Tribute. We've got a Derek Jeter Chrome. Again, I pick up most Jeter Chromes that are, that are we'll just say, a little bit older. Not uh, too old. This one's from like 2010 or 2011, somewhere in there. All right, this is a really cool card. Actually, I've never seen this Barry Sanders one here. Crown Royal Pacific Master Performers. Great looking card from Pacific. They had some fan fantastic looking cards. There's two of these Tom Brady's, I think, facing different directions. Just a Crown Royale. From a couple years ago. This is like the thicker card from Topps Prime. Certified. A couple more Josh Allens for me. So we got the Press Proof Blue. Let's see where I threw all my Josh Allen somewhere else. But now we got a DK Metcalf. This one is numbered out of just 75. That's the reason why I picked that one up. A couple more Josh Allens. We got the uh, Press Proof Red and then we got uh, the Dive one, whatever it was called, the red version. Kyler Murray, yeah, I'm not a Kyler fan, but he still does sell here locally, so I'll pick up some cool refractors and uh, colored and die cut and other stuff they sell in my booth. DeAndre Swift, we got the black prism version, so that was all shiny. Numbered Lamar Jackson, 399. Aaron Rodgers, numbered to 349. Uh, another Josh Allen. I think there's two of these Charles Barkley cards in here. Let me see if I can find the other one. Yeah, no, we'll see. Uh, but this is the big numbers card. Now, normally these were in silver, but they did a parallel version of the these rainbow ones. And, uh, yeah, I think those are pretty cool. Uh, not too exciting from that side, but we got Anthony Hardaway. Cool looking insert there. We got Shaq SPX. Skyview Devin Booker insert. Again, local guy. Sells for a couple of bucks. There it is. I knew there was a couple of those. Somebody had it at five bucks at one point. I got it for 50 cents. Nicolo Jokic. Some sort of blue teal parallel. Finest Shaq. D Hop, he's no longer with the Cardinals, but it, someone will still buy it. Number to 249. James Cook, Buffalo Bills. I think he's going to be the starting running back this year. So we got a rookie card from Certified, number to 325. So I think that one's pretty good. Uh, is Anquan a future Hall of Famer? They talk about it. His stats are there. Go check him out in, on Wiki. Go look at his numbers. Uh, but we got a uh, numbered card, Gold Longevity, number to 199. Justin Herbert. Herbert? I called him Herbert. Uh, yeah, this one's a prism version or a hollow, however Optic calls it. Another Kyler Pink. We got another Josh Allen card. I didn't think I had that one. A couple older cards, Marino and Elway. And then a John Elway Will It to Win Green in a Pokemon card holder. So pull that one out of there. Uh, that was it for the 50 centers. Let me get the cheapies, the dime cards. Actually, before I get to the big stack of dime cards, we're going to show one more. I bought one little stack of cards from a different dealer. And these ones were a dollar each. So I'll show you some dollar stuff that I got from him. This is a game plan, Brett Favre insert. Serial numbered out of 2,500. Uh, there's a Greg Maddox call to the hall. And I think there's another Greg Maddox. Yeah, so we got hall bound Greg, Greg Maddox. And then the call to the hall from uh, Ultra. So a couple different Maddox inserts. Tom Brady insert. I think that's like the red version. 
Phil Rizzuto, tribute, and this one is serial numbered right down here, numbered out of 99. Shoyo Tani, this one was, again, it was a dollar, so I'll pick it up, throw it for a couple bucks, decades next. Mike Schmidt, you got the frame from Diamond Kings 20, or <laughs> 2002, if you want to say it that way. I always like those cards. And then a little stack of Vintage. Vintage does sell at my collectibles booth pretty well, so I, again, I paid a dollar for these. Most of these will probably be like $253 a piece there. I'm not going to try to say the years because I never quite get them right. I know this one's 65 Dallas Green, Jim Booten. Second year, Lawrence Taylor. We got little ERA leaders that uh, has no big names on there. Hank Sauer, Jim Grant, Lindy McDaniel, Lou Burdett, Tiant, Hank Bauer, Rusty Staub, and one of these three-player cards. I always like these multiplayer cards, and they, they sell pretty well for me. So, again, I paid a dollar each for those, and they will go in my booth probably for 253 bucks. All right, now the dime cards. All right, I told you it was a pretty big stack, so we'll flip through them pretty quickly. You'll see there's all kind of colors and name players, or maybe it's serial number, like that one's numbered out of 99. That one's a sun. Uh, just cool looking cards that I can throw in like a dollar box. I don't think there's too much in here that'll be more than a dollar. It was kind of a cool, you can't really even see it too much glare. Rodman hologram, eh, maybe right there. Yeah, no. Oh, there. All right. Yeah, so just different inserts of cards, some random rookie cards you'll see in here. There's some UFC cards. I don't know if I got any Star Wars cards. I know there's going to be some garbage pail kids at some point. Another number 99 of a local guy, refractors. All type of stuff that should be in dollar boxes or bulked up and sold. Like that card is numbered out of 25 and it's in a dime box. Yachty, Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic. Griffey, another Everett rookie. We got Hakeem, Dominique, and these are the ones. I, I'll just save these and bulk them up. Uh, we got uh, some different Garbage Pail Kids chrome stuff from this past year. Local guy, Trey Young, cool looking card, Power Zone of Derek Coleman. I think there's a few Sammy Sosa rookies in here. A few other refractors, more Luca and the Tiger Woods. We got Derek Carr refractors. Pink. We got Eli Manning Refractor. Some more uh, UFC local guys. There are actually even some autographs in here from these low-end products. Now this is uh, where I might be able to make a little money off these. I have bought some autographs out of his dime box in the past and I've already got them certified. Got a Manny Machado and a couple Felix Hernandez. I think these are all good. I'll have to really check the Sparky. I know he had a weird signature the way he did it. That could be legit. Uh, Dave Henderson, Ned Yost, and uh, Mo Vaughn. Again, they're a dime each. Worst case is it's no good, and uh, I'm out of dime. All right, we'll keep going here. Pure Players, Lamello, Marino, Mickey Mantle. I think that one's pretty cool. Babe Ruth, C-3PO. I knew there was Star Wars in here. One of these Mattingly Yankee Stadium. Uh, a few orange refractors of some decent players. Granky, Wright, and Sandoval. Breeze, some Manny rookies. Matt Kane, Griffey, stained glass cards. Those are kind of popular. Larry Fitz, and that one's numbered out of 20, 2015, whatever year it's from. I can easily get a couple bucks for that one. Some other cards I just get because they're a serial number like that one, and then I eventually put them out in a bulk lot if they don't sell well individually. I was surprised to see these aficionado artist proofs. These were really hard to get back in the day, and he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them in the box. There's a couple decent names in here. Uh, Julio Franco, Jeff King, Jason Schmidt, uh, Jim Edmonds, and Larry Walker. So, I mean, okay names. we got some wrestling. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Ultimate Warrior, and Macho Man, Randy Savage. Uh, some Conor McDavid, Random Lesnar. Just throw these in the booth for a dollar apiece. Some Mitch Mitch Richmond rookies. Cool Roland uh, insert. Todd Helton early card. Griffey. A couple more UFC cards. There's those Sosa rookies. Senzel Obsidian Rookie and another UFC. All right, we're getting to the last stack here. So thanks everybody for watching. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, do all that stuff. A couple purple versions of these are clearly Dan Hampton. I think that's his second year. 82 Carew and an 83 Bench. A couple more of those Garbage Pail Kid Chromes. The Little Dang Refractor, Goldschmidt Refractor, uh, Yachty, Randy Moss Color, Jose Altuve. These are great looking inserts. Pure Power, Frank Thomas and Bryce. Another cool die cut card. Adam Jones Refractor, another Yachty, Christian Arroyo Purple, Halliday Refractor, Pure Players of Zion, Will, Larry Bird, Barry Bonds, but that's another one. That's an upside down gold card. All right, we got Bang of Justin Jefferson. A couple more of those cards. Demarcus Lawrence, Griffey, My House Luca. That was just a dime. My House Luca. 
Giannis, rookie of Alomar. I think that's a reprint of uh, Top's 40th. We got Unleash Soto, Dwayne Wade, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, and we'll end on Mookie Betts. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.